Hey guys, it was so cold last night. I have to like go inside. I couldn't record. I couldn't show my imaging rig at all. So I'm actually doing it during the day just to make sure I can stand outside. It's like really cold in Texas. I can't believe it. So I was working, taking picture of bubble nebula last couple of weeks. Uh, whenever I find a little bit of time, I end up taking like 22 hours of data. So last night when it was taking the picture, like in the morning, I have to like hug my telescope. It's like so cold. How did you do it? You know, uh, all we give is uh, these tiny dew heaters and they work poor things all night. So anyway, uh, the taking the picture of bubble is actually a lot easier than processing it. I guess the bubble inside has filaments. You really wanted to get details when you are processing it. And also behind the bubble, the nebulosity is not even. It's like kind of waves. So the picture is always like not really going to represent the, you know, what you really wanted to show. So it's a kind of a processing nightmare. So I tried my best to take that picture. Also, I'm working on this imaging rig. You must, you must have seen it a couple of times, the Rokinon lens. So a lot of professionals are using the Rokinon lens. So I'm planning to use that for my wide field. It gives like 11 degrees field of view and it works with the color camera very, very well. If you put like a border UHCS filter, it actually gives you both the hydrogen alpha and oxygen narrow bands. It, it works like a dual narrow band, but it's like a cheaper version of dual narrow band filter. It kind of gives you pretty good detail. I tried with the IR UV and I tried with the border UHCS filter and I really like the results of UHCS filter. Pretty good alternate for or a cheaper alternate, I would say for a dual band or a tri-band, but definitely I have to try that tri-band filter or a triad filter sometime. But anyway, so the Rokinon lens behind that, I have a ZW adapter. Inside the ZW adapter, I have the two inch UHCS filter. And the camera is the color. Reason I put it up on the top there is, this one works with the off-axis guider in the back. Uh, this guide scope is there only to counterbalance and gives me some extra weight in the back because I wanted to move the scope up a little bit. And when I'm taking images with this one or even with this one at the same time, the off-axis guider is going to guide both of them really well. So I don't need to like bring two refractors outside. I wanted to see how that is going to come out. So I'll show you guys that picture. Thank you. Thank you. 